Hello, everybody. My name is Hami, and today I'll be talking to you about my experience working as a copywriter intern at Vaso Group. So, believe it or not, I got the internship the old-fashioned way through LinkedIn Jobs. I found their job listing on LinkedIn, applied online through their portal, and then was very fortunate to score an interview and receive an offer within five days. So, a little bit about my company, Vaso Group. It is an e-commerce brand agency and basically helps companies sell their catalogs on online shopping platforms such as eBay, Amazon, and Walmart.com. So where do I fit into this company? Well, I'm a part of the content team, which deals with product copy and product photos. My supervisor, Andrew Moore, is the digital content manager, and my mentor, Pamela, is a fellow copywriter. So my day-to-day -day duties include writing and editing product copy for eBay and Amazon listings. So product copy is basically a product description, and it usually includes four components, a product title, five descriptive bullet points, a long description, plus back-end search terms. Some tools that I frequently use at my work are Google Docs and Google Sheets for writing, an online tool called Merchant Words for search terms lookup, plus Asana for tracking tasks and projects. Before we get started on analyzing some of my work samples, I want to go over the anatomy of a product copy. So if I've attached a photo of an Amazon listing copy, and as you can see, the first part of the listing is the product title. Product titles usually have a certain character limit, limit that you cannot exceed, or else some information will be excluded when displayed on a screen. And there is usually a predetermined formula on the order of information regarding the product. In this particular example, it would be brand, the type of product, the customer, and the components that comes in the costume kit. The next part is the five descriptive bullet points. They usually expand on the product's design, its functions, the different sizes that the product comes in, its other usages, and material as well as care instructions. Next up, we have the product's long description. Basically, this description further expands on the aforementioned five descriptive bullets. Last but not least, we have the back-end search terms. These are invisible on the listing site. However, they're extremely important. They help increase the relevance of the product and make it easier for customers to find the product when they search on Amazon. Let us go into my first org sample. So for this task, I needed to write a copy for this Baby Bones Halloween costume for infants. For my first step, I studied the product. So this included learning about its brand, its components, the size that it comes in, its materials, as well as care instructions, warnings, and so on. This information is usually included in the vendor's listing sheet. And as for the product photos, I usually grab them from our private asset manager site. My second step is to study the audience. Audience is the most important thing when writing content, and in this particular case, we're not selling to the babies, we're selling to their parents. And this affects content greatly. For example, I would have to address the audience differently in my copy. So instead of saying, you, your clothes, your needs, I would have to say, your kid, your little one's clothes, your little one's needs. Afterwards, it's time to write. The important thing about writing copy is that you need to try and make a product seem interesting and appealing to the customers. So this means using a lot of descriptive words that evoke emotions. Finally, I looked up search terms to help improve the product discoverability, 
which basically means it shows up amongst the top results when the consumer searches for something. So using merchant words, I pulled the top search terms from existing listings on Amazon and eBay, as well as some popular search trends, such as in this case, Halloween costumes. Afterwards, I use a text manipulation tool to remove any duplicates and then go through the search terms by myself to determine which words to delete based on relevance. And there we have it, a complete copy. For this next work sample, my process is really almost the same. Once again, I study the product's brand, components, sizes, materials, care instructions, and so on, based on the vendor's listing information and the photos on the Asset Manager site. Again, I studied the audience, which this time are women who are trying to find a Halloween costume. So now, we're selling directly to the buyers. Therefore, instead of saying, your kid, your little one, my language is going to include a lot of yous instead. Again, we are writing the copy using a lot of descriptive words that excite the audience. And the same process with looking up search terms. To close out this presentation, I would like to present some of my final thoughts. First of all, throughout this internship, I have learned that technical writing is super versatile and it is always in high demand regardless of the industry. It doesn't matter if it's technology or healthcare or creative advertising, writing is always needed. My second takeaway is that content matters. You can have the prettiest visual aids, but if the words don't excite and don't make sense, then the audience are going to get bored very easily. As for the courses that helped me prepare for this internship, I would say technical writing, content strategy, and content analysis provided me with the technical knowledge and skills that I needed for this copywriting internship. But all the other tech comp classes have also helped me prepare for a fast-paced working environment that deals with a lot of group work. As a longtime technical writer, I would say my biggest challenge during this internship is to transform plain, descriptive content into exciting and appealing content for customers. I had to learn to grapple with using longer sentences and more fluff in my writing, which I have not done for a really long time. But in understanding my audience and the purpose of my writing, I slowly got used to conversional tone. I slowly got used to the conversational tone and direct language. If there is one thing I would like to change, I would want to learn more about designing and developing product usual visuals. This means product photos, product videos, um, VR and AR uh, demonstration of the product. Because as important as content may be, Without proper visuals, they can never grab the attention of consumers as quickly and as effectively. So there you have it. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed learning about my experience working as a copywriter intern. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me through LinkedIn or email. Thank you very much.